Hi everybody, Dave Winder here, ready for another season of Murray State Football on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Coach will join us in just a moment, but first, here's what's coming up on today's season premiere show. We'll be talking about a lot of things, including the quarterback competition. We'll show you the 2013 schedule. We'll have an update on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball, plus rule changes for 2013, and it's Meet the Racers this past weekend. We'll talk about that and show you some of the kids that had a great time with the racers. Of course, we're now into game week. Ready or not, here we go. Saturday, the racers play at Missouri. Six o'clock kickoff at Columbia, Missouri in Memorial Stadium. The first meeting between the two since 2006. And that will bring us to our first segment of the football season with head coach Chris Hatcher here on the Racer Report. And uh, coach, the Racers are entering their uh, 86th season of football. The first one was in 1924. What a grand game we have. And I know you're excited to get the season going. Well, Dave, we really are. You know, a, a new season brings new optimism. Um, you know, we're excited about um, how far the program's come in four years. And um, hopefully this will be the season that, um, you know, we, we get in championship form. Who knows? Um, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of championship teams mm -hmm. in, in, in Murray State history, um, but maybe we can start a new streak, and it, um, it all starts here pretty quick. Well, I'm all for that. The, the Racers' last championship was in 2002, and I think it's high time for another one. And, you know, it all starts uh, – uh, with the game Saturday at, at Missouri. Uh, ready or not, Coach, we're in game week. Well, we are, and, um, you know, you, you're never quite ready for mm -hmm. that first game um, and, until you go play one and then you ha make some adjustments. It would be interesting to see. We have a lot of new players um, that will be counting on to make plays in, in game situations that haven't um, had that opportunity in the past. So, um, you know, the product you see, a lot of those guys, it will be the first time I've seen them with the heat on them. Well, and it's amazing. You go into a football season, and after that first game, uh, there's always some surprises, some things, some good things that you didn't maybe didn't think were were cap guys were capable of. There's usually some some things you got to go back and fix, and that's that's why I'm I'm really excited about the first game because it's time because you'll get a lot more evaluation out of the first game than you have maybe the last couple weeks of practice. Maybe. We will, and the the biggest concern going into a game like this is you know you're just you're just so outmanned. Um, um, from top to bottom and depth and special teams depth, all those things come into play and you're on a big stage that you're not used to playing mm -hmm. um, on um, each and every week. So, um, you know, it's a long bus ride for us, six hour ride, um, play an SEC opponent. Um, hopefully they won't be as good as Florida State was last mm -hmm. season. Um, so the goal is to go up there, see what some guys can do, improve in our base um, operation. Um, try to be crisp in that and play the very best that we can play and let the chips fall where they may. Well, during this uh, preseason, there was a quarterback competition for sure, and it finally landed to Mikhail Miller, the uh, sophomore transfer from Ole Miss. He came in and earned the starting job, Coach. He's done a good job for you in a very short amount of time. He has. You know, our system and, and Ole Miss system is very similar. Terminology issues um, we had to overcome early on in camp. Um, but he's got a big, strong arm. He seemed to grasp the concept. Um, each and every day he's gotten better and better, and that's one reason we made him the starter. We felt like the more reps we could get him, um, his potential was a lot greater than the other guys. Um, the thing that he does better than our other quarterbacks um, is he has great mobility, and he can really move in the pocket. I really think he's going to be a big threat running the ball, um, as well as being a passer, which is um, what we primarily do. Right. Well, we'll look forward to Mikhail uh, being under center on Saturday. Uh, we've got a minute here before we have to take our first break, Coach. Just put up the first part of the schedule after the game against Missouri. The Racers are back at home for two in a row against Campbellsville and Missouri State. That's family weekend. And you've got another uh, tough road game at Bowling Green, and then OVC opens into September with Jacksonville State. Uh, tough schedule you've got this year. It is, and I think if we can come out of August and September um, with a winning record, 
um, then we have an opportunity to, to maybe push for a, um, or be in contention for a championship late in the year. You know, um, we watched a little bit of film on all of our first um, first couple opponents. I'm not so sure Bowling Green isn't as good as Missouri. Uh -huh. So we play two Division One schools. Um, paydays for us, and, uh, but they're very difficult games to play. Of course, we play Campbellsville's NAIA team, mm -hmm. but a uh, um, very good NAIA team. And then Missouri State, we battled with them the past couple years um, to very close victories. So um, that's a tough stretch. And then, lo and behold, we the first game is against Jacksonville yep. State, who um, usually has the best players in the conference and one of the top teams. So um, at the end of September, we should know pretty much where we stand. <laughs> Absolutely. We're looking forward to that and also looking forward to the rest of the show here with Coach Hatcher. Man, glad to have you back and glad that it's football season. We'll take our first break here and come back and talk about more offense next on the Racer Report. That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? I got this, Coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max. You can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Yeah! Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf. Golf's no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers. Locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks, welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher as the Racers get ready to play at Missouri on Saturday, 6 o'clock game at Memorial Stadium, and we'll have all the coverage of it here on GoRacers.com as well. But Coach, right now let's talk about offense. Uh, we'll hear from Mitch Stewart a little bit later as we go to the break. Had a good chance to visit with him maybe uh, 10 days ago. Uh, very happy with the, things were, the way things were going. And you've got some weapons coming back, uh, led by Walter Powell, your, your Peyton Award candidate uh, wide receiver. Two great running backs and Barry and Brady. Uh, how, how's it looking on the offensive side of the ball? I think we've really started to gel towards the latter part of camp. Early on, consistency was the word um, that we were, were using a lot of just because we were lacking it. Um, I, you know, of course, I, I think our ground game is going to be good with Barry and Brady and then Marcus Holliday, the redshirt freshman out of Memphis, has um, looked good during camp. Um, so we, I feel like we're in good hands there. Um, quarterback situation, um, you know, we're excited about the things mm -hmm. that Mikhail can bring to the table, as well as Parks Frazier and Katie Humphrey mm -hmm. um, and C.J. Bennett, all are good players. We're very fortunate there. We have great depth at that position. And then the wide receivers, you know, Walter Powell, um, he's just a tremendous player. He's going to have to be a big playmaker for us. Um, Janowski Davis is a guy that backed him up last year. We moved to slot. That's really shown signs of, of being a playmaker for us in the slot. And then um, Navar Griffin, Pokey Harris, and Jeremy Harness, and Jordan Morrow kind of round that group out. Um, but the big surprise coming out of camp was Paul Rice. So um, we feel like we got eight guys in there that can go get it. Um, the line, the most important part of the offense, right. um, anchored by Harris Bivens, senior, four-year starter. Um, Drew Kelly, left tackle, 
Robert Olive will get the start at left guard. Um, Zach Littlefield got injured in, in mm -hmm. the scrimmage, but he should be back by Jacksonville State, so that's good news. The big question is the right side of the line. Andy Mahoney, Roddy Tomlin both graduated two um, right. three or four year starters right, right there right. so Hunter Hogan, Kamali Matthews um, are the two guys replacing them. Very good athletes very good linemen lack of experience is the big key on that and, side and of the ball. Matthews uh, moved over from uh, the defensive side of the ball to, yep. to come over to offensive line so that, that helps. Uh, Coach there's one thing you know we, we talk about the hatch attack which I love that your offense has got a name you know it's, it's like it, it, when you got a name attached to it that's just really cool I think but you're not opposed to having a thousand yard rusher. We've had one of those before. And a lot of people think, you know, a hundred passes a game, which you might hit that one day, but we were looking for a hundred plays, right? <laughs> right, well, plays are more important yeah, to plays. us than that. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, um, our goal is to get the ball to people who know how to score. Right. And um, in football, you better be able to stop the run and you better run the ball when you want to. Mm -hmm. And anytime we've had trouble moving the football is when our ground game hadn't been successful. So that'll always be a big key. Okay, so there's a look at the offense and we'll take a break here and come back and talk about defense. But as we go to the break, here's a comment from offensive coordinator Mitch Stewart. Tonight and, uh... I tell you, man, really excited about this group. Really, really excited about this group. We're coming together well, um, and uh, we, we've got some good things going. Got to continue to improve, but uh, really like where we're headed so far. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? I got this, coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max, you can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Yeah! Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher as the Racers are ready to open up the season Saturday at Missouri. And we'll talk about the Tigers. Uh, we'll have all the highlights and all that for uh, next week's show. But, Coach, let's turn our attention to defense. Um, Dennis Durrell came on. He's in his second stint with the Racers. I knew Dennis from way, way back. Good to have him back. Um, but you guys have changed some things on defense, mainly going to a 3-4. We have. You know, we went back and we reevaluated last season. Of course, we ranked um, at the bottom of almost every defensive category. So we made some changes, got an entirely new defensive staff. Um, our guys have been really excited. They've picked it up well. Um, they've had success against our offense, which is, um, has, has been very uncommon in practice scrimmages in years past. So um, I believe that they believe in what Coach Threll's teaching. He's a fine teacher, he's a fine man, he's got a really good staff um, that works and believes in the same concepts that he teaches. So, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm very optimistic about that side of the ball. Um, I just, I feel really good about the direction that that side's headed in. Well, when you think about it, and we talked with, with Dennis uh, when we did our segment in, in the preseason, uh, when you think about it, it makes sense 
because what's the thing that you're always looking for at this level? It's There's the no question. Line, defensive line. Well, yeah. they're the hardest to find. Yeah. Everybody's looking for big athletic guys mm -hmm. that can run. Um, so, you know, we're going more to a three-man front. Now, we'll have some four-man front. We'll be very multiple. Um, but linebackers is the thing that we've been able to attract the most of here on the defensive side of the ball. So we're going to put more of those guys on the field. But the big thing this um, that I've noticed in camp and even going back to spring practice is how well our defensive backs have been playing. Mm -hmm. We're getting more eyes to the ball, less man coverage, um, and that has really um, allowed us to – force more turnovers during scrimmage situations. And of course, um, the more turnovers you, you, you force, um, the better chance you have to win the ball game, Dave. Well, you know, in the spring, uh, your, your defense tur uh, forced a lot of turnovers. They did, and then yeah. this camp's been no difference. And a lot of that is just a change of philosophy. We don't have our back to the ball play a man as much. You know, we were zoned and our eyes are on the football, so we allow more folks to get there and break on the ball when it is in the air. Okay, well, we'll look forward to uh, seeing that racer defense uh, on the field for the first time Saturday at Missouri. And we'll take another break here with head coach Chris Hatcher on the Racer Report. As we go to the break, we talked about Coach Thorell. Here's his thoughts on the defense as we go to our break. Well, right now it's going. I mean, it's still a learning process. Uh, great thing, we have a lot of retention that came from what we learned in spring practice. The newer players, the first time here, you know, it's a, uh, you know, they they kind of feel like someone stuck a, a water hose in their ear, and mm -hmm. all this knowledge, football knowledge, and new terminology and stuff is pouring in there faster than they can absorb it. But they they will get it, they'll get it. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? I got this, coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max, you can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Yeah! Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. There's enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Murray State getting ready to open up the season at Missouri on Saturday. That's a 6 o'clock game in Columbia, and we're looking forward to that for sure. Uh, but, Coach, with any uh, college football season, there is always a, a tweak to the rules of how the game is going to be played. And we won't have time to talk about them all here, but I just wanted to put up uh, the rule changes for this year. And there's, there's eight rule changes. Two of those uh, is part one, part two of the targeting foul. Uh, there's a new rule in place for offensive blocking below the waist. There is an expansion of the 10-second runoff right, right, before, uh, right before the half. Um, there's a change now where a player can remain in the game if his helmet comes off, if there's a timeout call. There's a minimum time to spike the ball. Uh, there's another change now where everybody's going to know when uh, a player changes a jersey for a position that he's playing. And then now uniform numerals must contrast with the color of the jersey, which that's going to make our play-by-play -play guy, Neil Bradley, very happy because sometimes he has a hard, hard time in his old age to, uh, to see those, those numbers down on the field. But, Coach, let's talk about the targeting rule now. 
uh, the penalty is still the same. It's a 15-yard penalty, but now there, there could be an inject, injection uh, made by the officials. If it happens in the second half, the player would have to miss the first half of the next game. That's correct. Your, your thoughts? Well, first of all, on all the other rule changes, right. um, they're, they're pretty much um, mm -hmm. the, the same as they've always been, yep. just a little bit different language in the book. Um, the big one that's come into question, and everybody reads Twitter and, mm -hmm. and ESPN, is the targeting rule. The rule has not changed. The penalty is what has changed. Um, you, you've never been able to launch yourself um, head first and hit a, a defenseless player above the shoulders. I mean, that rule has always been the same. It's been a 15-yard penalty. Um, however, um, this season you will receive a 15-yard penalty and be ejected um, for the equivalent of a full game. Um, I don't believe there's any coach in college football that's a proponent of the ejection. Um, we all believe that um, if it warrants ejection, just like last season, the commissioner could review it on Sunday and Monday and make a decision whether that person needed to be ejected from the ball game. Um, that was the way it was last year. Um, the problem that we have with the rule, Dave, is that most rules, the officials, hey, if they're in doubt, they don't call the foul. Okay, that's the way officials uh -huh. are taught. However, this year, um, when in doubt, they are to call this foul. That is how they're being taught, and that's the biggest concern we have um, is that you know, in, in real time, it's very difficult to see whether it was a head-to-head -head contact play. And at our level, we don't have instant replay, right. so um, it cannot be reviewed. So if a guy gets kicked out of the game, he's gone. Whereas at the big level, Missouri, we play them the first game, there will be an opportunity. Hey, he fouled him. He's ejected from the game. Oh, wait a minute. Replay said it wasn't. The receiver um, lowered his head. So and, you know, he gets yeah. to remain in the game. The, the weird part of the rule, though, is if they do overturn the ejection, they don't overturn the 15-yard penalty. So go figure. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, is you, you're going to have to hit low. You can't lead with that head. If you do, you're ejected from the ball game. Well, it's an ongoing debate, and maybe we could carve out a little time next week to continue our discussion on, on the rules changes. But uh, we've got to take a break here right now. Uh, when we come back in just a moment on the Racer Report, we're going to take a look at Meet the Racers Day. Great day for the kids to get close to our players, and it's always fun. We'll do that next on the Racer Report. Enough of this golf already. I'm watching the golf. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? I got this, coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max, you can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Yeah! Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. And coach will join us again in just a moment. But first, this weekend we had a grand time, and we always do, at Roy Stewart Stadium for Meet the Racers Day. It's a, it's a great day 
for the kids to come out and get up close and personal with the student athletes of Murray State. And we've got a little bit of video from uh, what went on uh, Saturday at Roy Stewart Stadium. Just a great day. Uh, you know, the kids, they get to do the same things the student athletes get to do. They get to tackle, they get to kick, they get to throw, they get to run, and they really get a, a, a good idea of what it's like to be a, racers, a racer. And as you can see, our players have uh, maybe more fun than the kids have. So when Meet the Racers Day rolls around in late August, you can know that the season must be just around the corner. Here's some comments from some that were at Meet the Racers Day on Saturday. My name is Quay Huzzy, number 15, linebacker from LaGrange, Georgia. I have four amazing racer fans right now, Flay, and uh, her name is Riley, Caitlin, Kylie, Makira. Okay, now I'm going to ask them a question um, about today. Uh, is y'all having a good time today? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, on, on the count of three, we're going to say go racers. One, two, three. Go! How you doing? Welcome to the Racer Report. This is Walter Powell with my little man. Cole Katzman. Cole, Kat, Cole Katzman. So tell me, what you play football, Cole? Yes, sir. What position you play? Running back. Okay, okay, that's what's up. You ready to have some fun today? Yes, sir. You are? Yes, sir. Okay, it was Cole Katzman with the Racer Report. Nice to meet you. You ready to get in? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, we're introducing today. Joey. Joey. What position you play, Joey? Uh, lineman. You play lineman? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. What, what, what team you play for? Uh, Callaway County Middle School, Lakers. Callaway County. All right, what grade are you? Six. Six, okay, okay. You going to be coming to some of the racer games today? I mean, this, this year? Probably. Probably. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to your games, all right? So if you come, if I come to your games, you can come to my games? Yeah. All right. Okay. It was nice meeting you, Joey. Nice meeting you, too. This is the racer report with? Avery Poston. Avery Post, Avery Post. Where you from? Um, Kentucky. Kentucky. What, what, what school you go to? Callaway County. Callaway County. Okay. Are you ready to have some fun today? Mm -hmm. All right. Give me a high five. It was nice meeting you with the race report. Oh. Racers ready. Well, that's a good look at the, the fun that everybody has uh, Meet the Racers Day. And Coach, I've got to commend you and your staff. Uh, you do the similar thing and during spring practice. Uh, the number of, of children that are coming out, boys and girls, having a great time at racer football continues to get big, bigger and bigger. And uh, you could just tell everybody has a great time with it. Well, including our guys. Yeah. They probably enjoy it more than the <laughs> youngsters do. But it's something we've started a long time ago when I first became the head coach um, to get our guys more involved in the community and also um, to give the community a chance to spend some time with our players with their helmets off. Right, because, you, know, you, you know, a lot of times we don't know who they are. Well, you just know them by their number. <laughs> and, right. um, and we have a good group of boys. Our staff's done a good job of interacting in the community. And, um, again, it's, it's evident with our crowds, especially early in the season, the support, how it's grown over the past four years. Um, so today, um, or, or, or a couple days ago, having the um, Meet the Racers is just a way we give back, but also a way to try to get us a few um, little ones to grow up to want to be racers. Right. Uh, that's, that's the way uh, any good program does. You look uh, at the high school level, that, that's that Little League football right. uh, thing that, uh, that everybody loves, and uh, that's how you get uh, lifelong fans. So here we are. We've uh, talked about the opening game, and we're in game week, and the racers take on Missouri Saturday at 6 o'clock in Columbia, Missouri. Looking forward to it. So, Coach, we'll catch you next week. Appreciate it, Dave. Thank okay. you. Okay. Head Coach Chris Hatcher, this is Dave Winder, and we'll see you next time on the Racer Report.